going to be a little haul of some things that I picked up while I was on holiday recently. If you have been catching some of my vlogs, I thought I would break up the vlog train with this haul video, um, but uh, I will link a playlist of the videos that I have uploaded so far below in case you haven't seen any of them. I went to Tokyo, Japan and also Shanghai, China. I was gone for two weeks um, with the bow and we had so much fun and I tried to do my best to vlog some of the more memorable um, things that we did while we were on holiday and uh, I will continue to upload the rest of my trip after this haul video. So. Um, I did not pick up too many things, at least by my standard. 90% of the products I'm going to show you today are either beauty products or stationery. I did do a little bit of clothes shopping, but not at any, you know, Japan specific stores or, or Shanghai specific stores. I actually did most of my shopping at like big brand stores like H&M and Forever 21. I did most of my shopping in Japan because the markup for um, imported goods in Shanghai is crazy. It's a hundred percent markup for most things. I tried to do as much research on what products were good and also what stores were good before I went and also actually during my trip. So when I was googling the best drugstore in uh, Japan, Matsumoto Kiyoshi was kind of the most highly rated one. It's a chain of drugstores so I probably came across three or four of them as we were making our way across the different boroughs of Tokyo. So I picked up a few of the DHC deep cleansing oil. When I was browsing the interweb of products to buy in Japan, this was one that popped up repeatedly. Um, it's supposed to be a really, really great cleansing oil and I love cleansing oils and um, I always love to have cleansing oil in my stash. So I picked up a couple of these. I picked up one bottle while I was at the Matsumoto Kiyoshi drugstore and then I picked up a couple more when I went to the Don Quixote store, which is a discount store because it was actually cheaper there by 200 Japanese yen. Um, so I thought that was a good deal. So I picked up more there. I've already given um, a couple to my mom and then I'm gonna keep these two for myself. I also picked up a couple of blotting sheets. Apparently blotting sheets are a big deal in Japan. No one does it better than them. So one is from Shiseido. This one I picked up from the drugstore and then this is, I don't know what brand it is. Oh, it says Kose Cosmetics. Um, but this one I picked up from the Don Quixote store. I have not tried these yet, but I mean, who doesn't need blotting sheets, especially if you're like me and you have combination oily skin. I picked up one kind of makeup item. This is a brow gel. I picked this up mainly because I thought I lost the brow gel that I brought with me on my trip. It is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I ended up actually finding it. It just rolled under a piece of furniture. But I picked this up at the drugstore because I thought I would be needing it. Um, I do plan on using it. I mean, it's a nice brow gel from what I've tried so far. I've only used it a couple times. Um, it has a bit of a bigger brush that I've been used to because I've been using the Benefit Gimme Brow for so long now. Um, but it does hold my brows in place, so I really can't complain. So Lulu Lun, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that is, a, from what I research, is one of the best kind of brands for face masks in Japan. It, I don't know, was just really, really popular. It kept popping up a whole bunch of times in my search. So I picked up a bunch of them. Well, I picked up this one pack, which is, I don't even know, they had three or four different um, variations. And this is just the one that I guess is the most popular version. So I picked up like one big box of it. This contains 42. So they're not individually packaged. You just basically pull a face mask out almost as if it was Kleenex. So I thought that was kind of an interesting way to package um, face masks, but uh, I'm excited to try this. This is from the same brand. It's just in kind of this fancy limited edition packaging. I picked this up while I was at Don Quixote. I did open this up already because I, I've already given um, one package to my mom, but it it comes with three or four, I think it came with five packages in total. So each package comes with seven sheets and they are the different kinds. So this is one, like I said, I don't know how to read Japanese so I don't know what these are for. I feel like this is a brightening one. And then it also came with this version which again, don't know what that's for. And then it also came with this one which is, I, I don't know 
it says premium mask on it, but I don't know if it does anything else other than that. But it has like a Halloween theme on it. I also picked up this guy, which is the Cure Natural Aqua Gel. This again was very highly rated on the interweb. Um, it's basically an exfoliator. It's apparently the Japan's like number one selling exfoliator. This one was a bit on the pricey side. I think after the exchange rate, this comes to about $27 or $28. It is an interesting formulation for an exfoliator so it doesn't have those um, micro beads. It is just a gel formulation. It's very gentle. It's fragrance free. So I'm very excited to use this. I feel like this might be similar to those um, peeling masks, um, but I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited too. I also picked up some blushes. So while I was at Muji, I cannot for the life of me remember if Muji in Canada carries cosmetics or their skincare line. For whatever reason, I just can't remember. I'm never in there for that kind of stuff. I'm always just in there for acrylic drawers or stationery. Um, so I can't remember if they carried or not. But I picked up a bunch because um, they were a good deal. In Japan, they're only equivalent to, I think, like six or seven dollars after the exchange rate. So I picked up a couple for myself and then I picked up a couple as gifts. Um, so this one is in peach. It's a matte blush. Um, I like it. They're not uberly pigmented, but I kind of like it. They remind me a little bit of the formulation of the Laura Mercier Second Skin Cheek Color. Um, so they're very light. Um, but they do have a really nice wash of color on the cheek and then I also picked up this one Which I don't remember what the name of it is, but this is on the shimmery side I picked up this one because it reminded me of the NARS uh, blush in Luster It kind of has that same tone like that apricot color with a bit of shimmer So I really like these I have used these already and I am quite fond of them This one was a bit of a fail um, I wasn't sure because the way they were laid out these Muji blushes were laid out at the counter I wasn't sure if they came in cases or if it was like a Shu Amora thing where they just came in pans but I saw this um, case and I thought this case was for these blushes but turns out they are not because as you can see the blushes come in their own container so this one was a bit of a fail but it was only equivalent to four dollars so I didn't bother going through the hassle of returning it especially since I couldn't really find my receipt um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but I have a case for blushes that don't need to be depotted. This is a bit of an interesting find while I was at Don Quixote. They had a whole wall of beauty tools and um, also nail stuff. So this is for your nails to remove nail polish. Um, and what kind of drew me to it because I cannot read a lick of Japanese, um, but luckily this had photos. So at the top here, it basically has a cross over the traditional, or not the traditional, but the typical method of removing stubborn nail polish, which, which would be the tinfoil method. So it basically just said, no, you don't have to do that anymore. And instead you can use this. So these are little covers that you put over your nails. So basically you fill each finger cozy with some nail polish remover and then you slip it on and um, it's supposed to be really effective and also um, you don't have to kind of just sit there for 10 minutes you can actually do stuff while you have these on your fingertips unlike with tinfoil because with tinfoil you kind of have to worry about it ripping and all that stuff but this you don't have to do that I'm not sure if this is reusable or not um, but I'm very excited to try this I also picked up some Q-tips while I was at Muji. Um, I just really like these Q-tips and I also like the fact that they're a dark color, so they're black. My last beauty thing that I wanted to show you guys is what I splurged on. So this is the Clarisonic Aria. You guys know, I don't know if maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you'll kind of know my struggle with finding a cleansing tool. So for a while I stopped using the Clarisonic um, because I just felt like it was a bit too um, rough on my skin. I don't know why. I think maybe I was using it too often or maybe the pressure was off with how I was handling it, but I stopped using it for a while, but I realized that my skin just looked and felt so congested all the time. Um, so I decided to go towards the Foreo and the Foreo, while it is nice, it's really great for sensitive skin. I do feel like it does, you know, cleanse my skin really well, but it just doesn't have the same effect on my skin as the Clarisonic does. 
So what I did was I picked up the Aria. This is actually, they rebranded it. It's now the Mia 3. It looks like this. So I got the pink version. Like I said, it has three different speeds. It has the normal speed. Um, it has one lower, so it's a bit gentler. And then it has one that's a bit stronger. Um, and uh, right now I have the Radiance brush head in here, which I think is my favorite brush head. I feel like the Radiance brush head um, is the least abrasive of the bunch, uh, aside from the cashmere one. I picked up the Clarisonic while we were at Duty Free at the Pudong Airport in Shanghai, and uh, so far I'm really happy with it. The only thing different between buying this at Duty Free and buying it at Sephora back home is essentially the chargers. So instead of just having your regular um, charger for the outlets here in North America, it actually comes with the international charging adapter set. So I can use this in North America and also in Europe. So I think that's handy, I guess, if you travel a lot. Okay, let's talk about stationery and then we will move on to just some random knickknacks that I picked up along the way. Sorry for the crazy lighting, I'm filming in front of a window so you never know what's gonna happen. I went to a couple of stores while I was in Tokyo. Um, they have the best stationery stores. Um, there was one called Sakaido, which was my ultimate favorite. Um, it just had so many fun stationery sets. So they had pens and pencils and uh, colored markers and art supplies and different stationery, like actual paper sets. It was just one of my favorite stores. I was obsessed with it. I spent so much time in there. Um, so I picked up a bunch of products from there and I also picked up a bunch of products from a store called Loft. So Loft is not the clothing store. It is kind of like a, I don't know, a department store of different things. So it has consumer goods, you know, beauty products, household goods, um, also some clothing, um, it had even plants in there, it had uh, seasonal themed items like Halloween items, costumes, candy, uh, accessories, all of that stuff, and it also had some jewelry. So it had just a bunch of different things, um, but it also had stationery. So I picked up quite a few things, uh, quite a few pens. I picked up a whole bunch of the Zebra Mild Liners. So these are like highlighters. Um, slash markers. So I picked up this set which comes with three and uh, I just like these colors. They're kind of like pastel colors and then I also picked up these individual ones um, in different colors. The great thing about these is you can use it as a marker and also a highlighter because on one side it has that kind of angled edge to it which you could use for highlighting and then on the other side it actually has a pointed tip so you can use that for writing. So I really like these colors and I really like these mild liners. I don't think you can get these in Canada, at least I've never ever seen them. You can get them online and get them shipped to Canada, but they're a bit pricier that way. I don't remember how much these were, but they were definitely um, a lot more inexpensive in Tokyo. I also picked up four more colors of the Zebra Sarasa clip pens. I really like these pens and I like that they come in a whole bunch of fun colors and also different um, pen points. So I just picked up 0.5 in all four of these. Um, I ordered a bunch of these pens online a few months ago and I just really liked how they write and I like that they come in so many different colors. Then I picked up a whole bunch of these Pilot Juice pens. So these are kind of like a hybrid between an ink pen and also a gel pen. Um, so I really like these. Uh, they write really well and again they come in different fun colors. So I picked up some boring colors like black and blue but then I also picked up um, some fun colors. And uh, I thought I would use these for my agenda and also at work I guess. Because um, I do like to write in different colors. I like to color code my thoughts on paper. So I like having an assortment of different colors to write with. I also picked up this pen here. It's called the Le Pen. Um, it's in the color black and I think this might be exclusively an Asian brand. I've never seen this brand in North America before um, but it's a really fine almost like a felt tipped pen and I thought this would just be really great to use in my agenda over washi tape. Oh, these are three also kind of like marker type pens. They're really fine tip pens, which I really like in uh, really nice colors. These ones I got while we were in Shanghai. I don't remember what the store was called, but they were three pens for 10 Chinese yuan. So that is it for the pens. I have just a couple other little like random stationary things. Um, while we were in Shanghai, we went into this 
I think it's like a department store kind of thing. Again, it carries a whole bunch of things from groceries to household items to beauty products. It's called Carrefour. It's a chain, um, but they had a stationary aisle and I saw these little post-its and I thought they were really cute. I just like the design of them, so I picked up a couple. These are probably just equivalent to a dollar Canadian each. At that same store, Carrefour, I picked up these stickers. They are Sakura stickers, so they are like little cherry blossom stickers. I just thought it was really cute. And then I also picked up this pencil sharpener. Uh, I don't need another pencil sharpener. I have like a whole bunch of them here, but I just thought this was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. So it's basically a little rabbit. And um, yeah, I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I picked it up. The last little stationary thing I have here is a set of paper clips. So this I picked up at um, Sakaido in Tokyo. This is from the brand called D Clips. I actually have another one here. I'm going to be gifting this one. But this is a paper clip in the shape of a bunny, which I thought was adorable. So these paper clips are in fun metallic pink colors and uh, they just look like tree blossoms. So there's a couple different sizes and I just thought this was really cute. I have an obsession with cute paper clips. The last few things I'm going to share with you guys are just some random things that I picked up along the way and also some electronic pieces. So I'll start with those first. So I picked up a set of headphones while I was in Tokyo. I got this from Bic Camera. So I picked up some Bose headphones. These are just in-ear ones. Um, I think they're called the Sound Sport. I needed new headphones phones for when I am going for a jog or I'm at the gym. I just find the Apple ones to be really uncomfortable after a while so I like these ones because they fit really snugly in your ear and they also have good sound quality. They're also not noise cancelling but that's okay because I don't really like noise cancelling in ear headphones because um, I feel like they're very dangerous. So I really like these. I also really like the color of them and uh, I've used them a few times already and I do really like them. I also picked up a new camera while I was in Tokyo so so I picked this up from Big Camera because again, tax free, so you save the 8% tax and also if you use your visa, you save 7%. So I couldn't say no to that. So I picked this up because I was in the market for a new point and shoot. This is my old point and shoot here. So this is the Canon um, PowerShot ELF 110 HS. So I'm just upgrading to the Canon G7X, which I feel like everyone uses this camera, especially for vlogging, um, but uh, it's a really nice quality camera. I like the pictures um, that it takes. I also like the video quality. It's a bit heftier than just like an average point and shoot. There's a bit more customizability to this camera than there is a regular point and shoot. Again, if you have been watching my vlogs, the first three days in Japan were filmed on this guy, which is the Sony um, A5000. She looks like this. Um, and then the rest of the trip was filmed on the G7X. So I really like this because it's a lot more compact than the uh, Sony A5000. Um, it's a bit lighter, it's easy to carry, um, slightly better image quality and also video quality. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. Moving on, I picked up obviously some touristy things. So I picked up a bunch of magnets. I've already put the magnets that uh, we bought for ourselves on our fridge. Uh, we got one from Tokyo and also one from Shanghai. Um, I also got this little magnet here here. This is from Shanghai. This depicts the Bund, which is a really popular tourist area um, in Shanghai. And uh, I picked this up actually to gift to somebody. Also, while we were in Tokyo, we went to Kapabashi Road. It's basically a, a district where they sell anything that you would need if you are a restaurant operator. So they would sell utensils and cutlery and cooking utensils. And also they had a whole bunch of um, fake food. So in Japan, artificial food depicting what the restaurant serves is really, really popular. Um, so you'll see that if you're walking through, especially like the fast food places, so I picked up one thing while we were in the Kapabashi area and it is this little um, sushi fridge magnet. I just thought it was really cute. Um, this is a little salmon fish magnet um, on rice and uh, I, I don't know why but I just thought it was really cute. I also picked this up for my boss. Um, my boss is really into guitars and he also has a son. Um, so this is a nano block micro size building block in the shape of a guitar. So I thought it'd be really fun for him because 
one, he likes guitars, and two, he has a kid so he can like build this together with his kid. I just thought it would be really cute. While we were in Japan, we also went to Mount Fuji. We picked up a couple things while we were there. Um, we picked up some whiskey to gift to somebody, um, one of our friends in uh, Shanghai. Um, but I also picked up this postcard. Uh, I don't know why this particular postcard just like drew me in, but I just really love the illustration. I love the colors. So I'm thinking of framing this actually because I just, I like it so much. I also picked this guy up while I was at Don Quixote. It is, um, I don't know really what it is. It's a facial cleansing tool of some sort in the shape of a heart. I was kind of intrigued by it. I feel like I've used something like this before, um, but I like that it was in a heart shape and um, it was only probably three or four dollars. So I picked up a couple, I gave one to my mom. This is um, the only accessory type item that I picked up while I was um, on holiday and I got it from Forever 21. So I'm sure you can find it in Canada, um, but it's just a necklace. It is a gold lariat necklace, which I have been obsessed with the look of. I got this while I was in Shanghai. It was 39 um, yuan, which is, I don't know, um, probably like eight or seven or eight dollars. Um, and I just really liked it. I like that they're two different sizes. I like that they're very simple. A lot of the lariat necklaces that I've seen um, have like a really bulky piece here in the middle and, you know, kind of rhinestones everywhere. But I just wanted like a simple, plain gold necklace. And I just really like this. So I have been wearing this with kind of like my deep V t-shirts and just tucking it in. And uh, I'm just obsessed with it. The last two things I wanted to share with you guys are Starbucks mugs. So whenever I go to a different country, I like to pick up a Starbucks mug. So this is the one I picked up while I was in Tokyo. Um, it just has, you know, it's like a branded Tokyo Starbucks mug. So it has different uh, landmarks. Um, there's the Tokyo Tower here and uh, I just really liked it. The other mug that I picked up was in Shanghai and um, instead of getting a branded mug in Shanghai, they're actually quite expensive. So this branded mug in Tokyo was only probably equivalent to 11 or 12 dollars. Totally reasonable. A similar mug in Shanghai costs like 22 dollars, which is what you would normally pay for like a tumbler, like a ceramic tumbler. So I just didn't see any value in that. But when I saw this little guy while we were in a Starbucks in Shanghai, I thought it was the most adorable thing ever and I had to pick it up. So this is inspired by the um, mid-autumn moon festival. So I just thought it was really cute. Um, it, As you can see, it's like a little bunny rabbit. So it has a lid. Um, I think this is maybe more for teas. So when you're steeping a tea, you can um, put the lid on and it just gets all the flavors. Um, but the lid has little bunny ears on it. And then the handle here has a little um, bunny tail. Uh, so I thought this was just really cute. And um, I love the gold accents and uh, I was really obsessed with this mug. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, I will list all of the products I mentioned in the description box below. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.